Hey everyone, it's Kevin. It's been some time since I put out a new video, but I just moved to a new place, have been getting things situated and working on a couple of other projects. But now I'm back and I'm excited to share with you a new piece I just created for the fall. For this piece, I focused on some of the new Blender 3.0 features. For the past few weeks, I've been trying some experiments with geometry nodes and having lots of fun creating these different abstract animations. And I thought it'd be interesting to do something in combination with grease pencil elements. The idea here was to create something for the autumn season. Last year, I created something typography focused with animated illustrative elements. I was mainly trying out the texture brushes from Daniel Martinez Lara and still getting accustomed to working with Grease Pencil. But for this, I wanted to try a different direction and create something Art Nouveau inspired. I really love that aesthetic, working with patterns and foliage, and I thought it'd be interesting to try animating that. The piece is primarily animated using a geometry node system instancing Grease Pencil elements. To help me understand 3.0 nodes and other procedural workflows better, I referenced a helpful channel called Bradley Animation. I'll put a link to their channel below. Basically, this system has mesh primitives that instance grease pencil elements at every vertex point, creating an array. You can accomplish the same idea with the array modifier, however, you have more control over individual elements when setting this up in geometry nodes like rotating, scaling, and adjusting the position, and probably more. So for example, I have this grease pencil element here. In this system, I have a curve primitive which instances that grease pencil element, and I've used more nodes here to align it in the correct orientation. You can animate these nodes in the timeline with eye to keyframe, and in doing so, you can create some designs and patterns with just a few elements. Just note the elements are positioned according to their origin points. I kept the design really abstract because I wanted to create something more ornamental with design motifs. So I started very broadly thinking about the three circles here. I also modeled a few pumpkins and pumpkin flowers with a tune shader applied to give the piece some dimension. When creating something more design heavy, I tend to work on it in segments. So although I have an initial concept or an idea, I generally do lots of back and forth specifically for the details at each stage between a program I'm more comfortable drawing in like Procreate. That way, I'm not overwhelmed with trying to tackle the piece in its entirety. It's also to ensure that all the elements will be cohesive. So I started with the middle, the bottom, and then the top. The first grease pencil element I created was this leaf element ring. This ring is comprised of these three elements and have their own subtle movements done in the timeline and with modifiers. However, this setup was a little different from the rest because the elements actually get smaller as they pass clockwise. That system has a geometry proximity node that affects the scale with an empty when the elements pass through. The same setup is applied to the bottom floral ring here and the leaves at the top. An element I had fun creating was this star shape in the center. It's actually just this one element here, but when combined, I was able to make these patterns by moving it. From the side, it looks a little wonky because since the elements rotate in 3D space, when clustered together in this setup, the outlines can be obscured, so I moved the backfill layer just a little bit. The other fun elements to create were these repeating ones at the top and the middle. Again, it's just these three elements here, and although this flower looks like it's animating nowhere, when compiled in the array, it appears like it's continuously moving up. The last few grease pencil elements were the detail lines on the pumpkins, just to give them some more depth. I set the orientation to surface and was able to draw in all the 3D elements. I also have this arch window element to frame the entire composition. For effects and adjustments, I kept them fairly simple. All of the grease pencil elements have a noise modifier on them to give them some subtle movement in addition to a rim grease pencil effect. For compositing, I added a glare node with bloom turned on in the render settings in order to intensify some of the brighter elements. And that's it for this piece. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I know that some of you have asked me about grease pencil tutorials, and I have one on workflow targeted to illustrators and designers coming soon. But in the meantime, you can check out my two-part 2D and 3D animated flower vase tutorial. I am planning on updating this one as well, but it walks through some of the same techniques that I've used for all of my pieces. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments or catch me on social media at Kev and Ram. Thanks again and see you guys next time.